Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 26, 2023. Well, hey guys, I want to apologize. Yesterday I tried, I recorded two morning prep videos, but for some reason I was having trouble getting them loaded to YouTube yesterday. So I apologize that you missed a video yesterday. Today we're back on task, assuming that the video will load. And oh my goodness, we had quite a day yesterday. We had uh, banking worries starting to crop back up with uh, First Republic falling almost 50% yesterday. And that triggered some selling here in the market as we waited on the big tech reports. Then, of course, those big tech reports came in and they came in better than expected. And so we have a surge of bullishness here this morning and a little bit of mix as to what's going to happen next. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. My goodness, there's a lot of emotion in this market and a lot of reason for uncertainty out here. I'm going to take a couple of these um, lines out here and stretch them on out. And as you can see, what we've got going here in the Dow uh, this morning is a little bit of a pullback. We're breaking down below this price support that we talked about, this price range that we've been in here. And you can see we've got a little bit of bearishness coming into the pre-market here on the Dow. Yet, not so much to be worried about. As a matter of fact, it was green just a little while ago. We were bullish just a few moments ago. So um, I think this could be just about anything by the open. One of the things that's interesting, however, is that Asian markets um, put the banking issues ahead of the big tech report. Um, Asian markets were mostly down last night. Only Hong Kong saw some bullishness. And then we um, see the European markets are red across the board this morning, um, kind of decidedly bearish based on um, banking worries. Here in the U.S., we're really trying to ignore that and favor these big tech reports. And we have another big round of those today. So looking at this diamonds chart, you can see we have that little bit of a problem where we're breaking that support level in the chart it's not such a big deal if we can bounce right off of this area notice we've got some more support right in here if we could bounce right off of that area and recover that would put us right back into this zone of consolidation in the chart so if those bears find inspiration today i'm going to suggest we might push down in here, test this next level of price support. And if I pull this back, you can see that's a fairly strong level right through there. So hopefully we can hold in that area because if that were to fail, well, then it's a big drop. Um, I'm thinking to the next level of price support. If those bulls can find inspiration today, then I would suggest a recovery back up into this range that we've kind of been stuck in um, here recently in the chart, popping back into that area. If we look at our SPY, SPY should get some pretty good benefit today out of those big tech reports. And you can see yesterday we did find that bearish move where we came down here and tested this price support in the chart with a bit of ugliness here overall. Let's watch that closely though. As you can see this morning, it's like we're testing in this again. A little bit of uncertainty may be coming in um, on this banking issue. So watch that closely. If the bears were to attack this today, find inspiration today, well, if we look across this chart, you can see 
Oof, it, it could be a little bit rough. We might drop all the way back down into this area here if those bears were to find inspiration and push on through some of those support levels. If the bulls find inspiration here today in the SPY and when those big tech reports would suggest they could, then um, I would look for us to bounce back up toward this um, resistance area in this chop zone that we've been in in uh, the S&P 500, so watch that close. Now, our QQQ is looking at getting the biggest uh, bang for the buck here today with a pretty substantial bounce. Now, what we saw yesterday as a break of that support is those bears came in pushing things lower here on the day and kind of breaking down a bit. We broke that, um, that upside trend. Now this morning with those bullish numbers, we're getting a bounce back up, a pretty substantial gap to the upside. And we may cross back up through that um, support area. So if those bulls find inspiration today, I would suggest that we bounce back into this, um, this zone that we've kind of been stuck in now. We're going on 20 days stuck in. So we might bounce back up into that area. If they get really inspired, we may move on up and test the resistance of the chart up there. However, if those bears remain inspired here, well, you can see this could be a significant problem here in the NASDAQ because we kind of stretch this up really hard to the upside and it doesn't provide an awful lot of price support levels going lower. There is a little bit of price support level right there, as you can see, across those prices and maybe even a little bit lower in a little bit wider range if those bears were to be inspired today and uh, drive uh, the QQQ lower. So let's keep a close eye on that and maybe fingers crossed that those big tech reports can do enough to um, you know offset the worries of the banks. And then if we take a look at our IWM, well, this might be a problem today because a lot of regional banks are in the Russell and you can see uh, we've got a bit of a bearish uh, move going on here in the Russell this morning. Um, yesterday we pushed down significantly. We test that, tested that price support here in the chart and we can see IWM looking lower here this morning, which means we could move on down and test some of these support levels down in well in this range and, and, and maybe even lower if um, those bears continue to find inspiration in those banking woes. If they can find some bullishness, well I would suggest a regaining of this price support and then a uh, test to move on up to see if we can challenge some of these price resistance levels again if the bulls come in and start to fight on that banking situation. If we take a look at our VIX, VIX had a little increase in fear yesterday uh, with that banking crisis kind of re-emerging, uh, perking back up. But with the big tech reports today, I'm going to guess we're going to see this pull back and likely fall right back into this range bound area of the chart. So keep an eye on that today. Um, not sure we're going to get um, great data from this because so much um, what of what's going on is the VIX has been acting oddly because of the massive amount of zero data expiration uh, trading that's that's happening. As a matter of fact, the, uh, the CBOE has launched a new VIX product that's just a one day VIX trying to combat uh, that situation of zero day to expiration options. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 pulled back substantially yesterday. So that was a good move yesterday because we relieved a lot of the overbought pressures here in the market. And that does give us that hope that we may be reaching this oversold area here in the chart. So if as we're pushing down into here, we want to be looking for that opportunity of that bounce back to the upside. Now, the reason we could continue to sink is, of course, those big banks or those regional banks running into problems. If um, we can kind of shrug that off, 
um, the big tech reports would suggest we get a lift back up on um, T2122 today. So watch that closely. And then if we take a look at our T2108, well, T2108 had a pretty rough day yesterday. Pulling back, we went from about 47% uh, the day before into 37%, but we held above this price support and those big tech earnings uh, may um, have a pretty substantial effect here because we do have, um, you know, Microsoft is in the Dow. So with Microsoft being in the Dow, Microsoft being in the SPY, Microsoft being in the QQQ, all index will have the benefit of those big tech reports trying to push back up. So I would expect to see this um, hold in here and maybe push a little higher unless that banking crisis really starts to gain some steam here and uh, bring out those bears. Now, um, watch that closely. We do have resistance levels up here in this area on T2108 as well. Our T2107 also had a little bit of a rough day pulling back. We went from about 47% to around 42% of the stocks holding above their 200 day as we saw that selling yesterday. We've got some support in here we held on the day. We've got resistance up here that has challenged us. So let's keep an eye on that. It really all depends who wins this bull bear battle today. Is it gonna be big tech that drives the market higher or is it going to be concerns over uh, those banks that change things significantly and um, what's what's happening right now in the futures they have been um, all green and now all of a sudden we have um, both the diamonds and, and spy futures a little bit in the red and we've seen the nasdaq futures pull back so boy and anything is possible here this morning um, as we approach another day of uncertainty um, with the big banks. Let's take a look at our T2101. T2101 made a shift yesterday where we reversed um, in our market breadth. That would suggest that we've got a little bit of rally coming into play. Um, volumes might be a little bit odd here again with all the emotion in the market. So not sure we're getting the best data here, but that might give you a little hope of a little bit of an upside turn coming in the market. Let's take a look in um, at our economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar, we've got a couple of things on here we're really going to have to pay attention to. The, the interesting thing... Um, that we have seen going on in the market is is we have this capacity to ignore uh, bearish uh, bearish numbers. I mean, really big capacity. Good numbers we celebrate, bad numbers we tend to ignore. And we've had some pretty bad numbers here recently, and we have chosen to ignore them. Um, and today we we had a good number here in the mortgage applications. Um, let's keep an eye on that, um, showing that we've got a little boost coming up on those mortgage apps. But then we're going to get durable goods orders and international trading goods. Last time durable goods orders were pretty darn bad. Hopefully we see a little improvement there in those durable goods. They're gonna be coming out here before the bell. So I would expect a little bit of volatility around these two numbers. International trading goods was horrible last time. And again, we largely ignored it as if it didn't matter. So watch those closely today. You never know when the market's gonna suddenly say, okay, this matters. Um, so watch those closely. Let's hope, fingers crossed, that we see an improvement there. We've got uh, retail inventories, wholesale inventories, and then probably the next big one on the day is going to be the petroleum status. Um, we've been seeing a lot of back and forth in the petroleum status. We're trying to fight this idea. Are we back into growth in, the, in our markets around the world? Or is the demand destruction happening where the weakening of our economy and our consumers um, affecting those um, energy prices? So watch that one closely here today. That could have a rather dramatic effect on those oil prices, depending on how that comes in in today we've got some bond auctions here for 
a four month, um, a two year note and a five year note coming in today. And then as we plan for Thursday, keep in mind, we've got a GDP number coming in here, jobless claims, we got housing numbers. So watch that closely. And, and of course, we've just got a slew of earnings today and tomorrow that could really move the market around a lot with um, emotional moves. Um, so taking a look at that earnings calendar today, boy, there's no way I can cover all these earnings for today. So what I would suggest is that if you want to catch this full list of notables, you do me a favor and you click that link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog. I'll cover a few of these really quickly here and then we'll move on and look at some stocks that could be setting up. First, let's take a look. Um, stocks like AB will be reporting today. Um, NLY is on the list. We've got AVP in here. We've got CP that's going to be reporting eBay. Um, we've got several for after the bell today, like eBay. Uh, the CME will be reporting today. We're going to hear from um, HP. We're going to hear from uh, Masco. We're going to get reports um, out of uh, Old Dominion. We'll get reports from O'Reilly. We're going to hear from uh, Roku today. We're going to hear from Ryder. We're going to hear from um, Teladoc. And we're going to get reports from URI and Waste Management. There's a few of them that will be out today. There's going to be a lot more than that. So again, make sure you click that link to go back to the blog and get the full list of notables for today. So how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, the most important thing with YouTube anymore is that you leave comments and, th and that you engage with the video. So if you click that thumbs up button, leave comments, um, doesn't have to be a big deal. I know it gets monotonous doing this every day, but thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that. That helps the channel to grow. And of course, if you share this video out on your social media feed, it helps us reach more people and uh, we continue to grow the channel. So thank you so much who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. And let's keep in mind, guys, there's a lot of fluctuation um, moving around here in the market. As a matter of fact, we saw some stories yesterday uh, prop, cropping up in the news feed about a little bit of worry here in the US dollar. Um, the fact that the country, the world, is trying to move away from the US dollar as a as the reserve currency. And that's creating some fluctuations here in the market. Now, it's, it seems to me unlikely that this is going to be something that's going to occur quickly or, or happen um, as soon. But we are seeing a weakening here today of that US dollar gapping and down this morning. So as we see that going on, when we get gap downs, when we get weakness in the US dollar starting to show itself, it has major effects on other places in the market, particularly commodities. So with that, we'll want to be keeping an eye on gold today. Gold's trying to pop up a little bit this morning and follow through from yesterday's rally. Even though there was some strengthening in, in the dollar yesterday, boy, gold uh, uh, really pushed up. And you can see we may have a little bit of bullishness pushing on through to um, on that one today as well. Silver, silver was early punished in the day, pushing down, but then reversed on the day. So keep an eye on those. If the dollar weakens, look for gold and silver those kind of things to start pushing to the upside and um, holding these support levels. So 
um, it is important to watch. We might also want to keep an eye on energy. Anything in oil and gas uh, might be an interesting thing to be paying attention to, particularly with the petroleum strat status numbers coming in today. If we happen to see a, a decline in supplies and combine that with a weakening dollar, we could see energy prices rally back to the upside so watch that closely here today as well then let's take a look at some other stocks out there boy health care health care has been um, a pretty darn strong area of the market well in most cases take a look at bmy bmy i think is a really good potential setup here for an upside move bmy nice little consolidation notice we started to fail right here but we've recovered and we're holding so what i would do on bmy is i'd be placing a price alert up here and i'd be waiting to see if we can finally get enough energy to pop through on that for that next move to the upside on BMY. If you uh, take a look at Merck, Merck is also showing lots of bullishness, a little pullback here in the pre-market this morning. Now, unfortunately, this is gonna be a problem for us. We've got those earnings reports coming in um, here in the next day on Merck. So I can't really jump on this um, right now, but you can see we've got a very bullish pattern breaking through resistance holding here in the in that chart i'd be watching that closely and one of the things i want to point out here one, one of the things that's really nice for me on tc2000 is that i can place the earnings date right up here on the top of the chart so i don't forget it that's something we really have to pay attention to particularly over the next couple of weeks because we just have a massive number of earnings reports coming in one of the things we do in the first quarter earnings we seem to stretch out those earnings forever and just we kind of piecemeal them out a little bit at a time um, over the entire quarter what happens in the second quarter is we jam a whole bunch into a very short period of time and that's what's happening uh, right now uh, so watch those closely make sure you understand when those earnings are coming into play let's take a look at um, fedex ups had a really bad day yesterday on its earnings report but fedex is holding up pretty darn well so if the market is going to be bullish if we're going to see um consumers continuing to spend and do the things that, that um, we've been doing for years now is we're going to need to see these shippers perform well because the shippers are where most of this product is being sent through everybody's shipping to their home nowadays um, so let's watch that closely here fedex it's holding up better than ups by far so if it can continue to hold it had no negative uh, really no negative effect yesterday on what happened in ups so watch that closely i'd look for that next opportunity as we come out here and contact that trend for that upside move i would be watching that one closely take a look at spotify spotify had good results yesterday breaking through um, that resistance to the upside now certainly it's still got a lot of upside potential in here in that and we did get a pop and drop on the day but any rest or pullback in here that holds this uh, support level i think sets up the next opportunity to the upside so keep an eye on Spotify. I think um, it would be a really good idea to continue to watch these big techs like Microsoft. Microsoft now passed its earnings report. Don't be too surprised if this pulls back, consolidates a little bit and pulls back, but I would be watching for that next opportunity here in Microsoft. The, the AI they suggest is really going to push growth in Microsoft. They're kind of the first to really benefit from that. And sometimes that can be uh, very, very important. So watch that closely here on Microsoft. Let's take a look at um, and some reports that still have to come along here. We're not quite ready for them. This is gonna be on 524. But NVIDIA, some of the other tech sector areas that have not reported may benefit from all of this warm and fuzziness that we're getting in um, some of the tech reports um, yesterday and today. So watch that closely. If NVIDIA can garner a little bit of uh, price action in here, I would not be at all surprised to see NVIDIA 
continue to push on up heading into that earnings report and particularly with Nvidia being so heavily um, um, talked about in that AI sector with their chipset for AI. So watch that closely. Nvidia still may have some upside potential here in that chart. Um, other places that I think would be interesting to be paying attention to, you got to take a look at that defensive sector. My goodness, um, uh, defensive sector stocks, which doesn't seem right because if we're really bullish on the market, we shouldn't be seeing these old boring companies garner so much support, but we are. We're seeing a lot of a rotation into defensive sector stocks. Look at this big Morningstar pattern showing up here on Campbell Soup yesterday, trying to push on higher. It may not be ready for a buy right here, but my goodness, there was a big push into that. Um, Hershey continues to be remarkable. I mean, breaking through all time highs, continuing to move to the upside here. Um, take a look at Mondelez. Mondelez, very, very strong. Probably needs a little rest or pullback now, but has been very strong. Colgate Paul Bolive stretching to the upside. Again, needs a little rest or pullback at this point. But boy, I think we got to keep an eye on these defensive sector stocks. And then some of the retail out there also catching a little bit of rest yesterday. But Walmart might be something to pay attention to in that defensive sector. It's a discount seller, might be a um, a big player, of course, in, in an inflationary market. So watch that carefully. If that can uh, find some support in here, I would look for those next opportunities in some of those defensive sector stocks. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for being here today. Be safe, be careful, have an awesome day, and I wish you all of the best. See you bright and early Thursday morning.